Hello, very good evening. This is Dr. Shwan Bhatti. Um, sometimes we need to create an uh, motion that is continuously running in a cyclic way. Um, either it's bouncing or a rotation of a tail, rotation of a fan, uh, something that is continuously wiggling uh, and it just needs to go on and on and on forever. Um, one way is obviously we have set a keyframe and then use the graph editor to cycle the keyframes. Another cool way is using expression editor. So for example, if we have, um, if we go into skeleton, create joints and I have created, for example, five, six joints. I have available now I need to uh, wiggle this joints like a tail continuously what I can do is I can select the joint in this case and then go into windows animation editors expression editor obviously I don't need to select this before I go into it but that would just make sure the joint 2 is there then I can go into rotate Z select the rotate Z come here now uh, we need to write an expression that allows my joint to rotate continuously in a time so in for that case again um, one way is that continuous cycle but I want to go in a wiggly motion. So for example, from start to end, then start to end like a pendulum, like a wiggle of a tail. For that, I would use sine function. So because it will give me a nice sine wave curve, uh, which I can use for up and down of, in other words, the wiggle motion. So we use the sine and then you can use, for example, the time variable, which basically means the current time that system is using so that it uses the current time. So it would basically mean that as long as your play peg time is running, your motion will be running and it will get the time parameter from there multiplied by the amplitude of the phase thing that we use in these things. I think this is the phase multiplied by the angle basically of angle of rotation in other words uh, and hit basically 45. Now this 45 basically means it's 45 degrees uh, that your joint would be rotating in 45 degrees. If I set it to for example 90, it means it will be rotating from a 90 degree angle from here to here. It will get at least 49, uh, for 90 degree rotation and so on and so forth. I will show you these examples uh, in a moment. So for example, if I set 45, hit create, what this basically now means that boom, you can see this gets continuously wiggling in a 45 degree angle. So this main joint that I have expression set on is now going on up and down, up and down 45 degrees rotation uh, very easily and very conveniently. And the rest of the joints I showed you in my previous step, you can use basically the expression of controlling that whatever motion has been set on this 45 minus 5, 45, 45 degrees can be set on that. Uh, and similarly, if I, oh sorry, if I go back into windows, uh, animation editors, expression editors, this joint is selected and I go into rotate Z. I have this expression. Let me stop this. I can obviously go into, for example, 180 degrees, hit edit so that to, uh, to modify the expression. Now you can see this. Okay, now I have a complete 180 degree motion of this object from one to other, from one to that. So depending on how much angle you need, you can always change this angle to that particular preferred location. And because this is not a continuous cycle, this is a wiggle motion starting from one point to another, one point to another, like a tail, like a car uh, antenna that's basically wiggling, like your body that is basically wiggling anything that you can want to wiggle up and down, back and forth. You can use the sine function with the time parameter that come drives this time from this timeline. Uh, four or is basically a set standard uh, multiplication ratio obviously you can control this phase value as well as much as you like along with this uh, 180 degrees of your angle that basically would control how much you want so uh, another this is a very nice way of controlling how you want to proceed and like I said if you want to control the rest of these things you can write this look up uh, value uh, that this expression that we used previously on the pipe so in this case I can set the if I come here uh, for example I think this would be my join three uh, dot rotate Z if I just remove this join two rotate Z would be equivalent to my joint two sorry join three rotate Z would be equivalent to my joint two rotate Z so this is joint two this is joint three how much of a rotation is this getting this joint should get approximately 50% of that joint rotation or in our case let me just hit the 75% uh, 0.75 I should think that should do the trick. Let me hit create attribute not found missing joint three dot rotate Z uh, joint three dot rotate joint three dot. Oh, okay, this should be small and I think they should also be small hit create. There we go because we are using abbreviations RZ has to be small it's capital Z if you are rotating writing complete rotate Z right just a small thing. So now if I hit play so you would see this that this is just moving 75% of that particular joint. So if I control C that and select the rotate 4 joint, go into its values and hit this. So now rotate 4 rotate would also be like 75%, hit create and then this rotate 5 
again this thing same thing so I, instead of rotate 3 rotate 5 hit create now you can see this guy can get a very nice bending a tail motion so i've just have certain expression and there we go right so this can be anything it can be your tentacles coming out your tail coming out it can be your fur whatever you want to control so i just select this joint again rotate z 180 was actually too much let me just give it 45 edit this and now I can see this motion much appropriately. So for example, you have tentacles or cloth, even you can obviously use joints to control cloth or your body hair or anything that you are doing, you can just write an expression and it just moves with that. And you can control the expressions uh, as it goes along. I've shown you both previously as well. So here it is. This is Dr. Zishan Bhatti uh, from uh, Zishan Academy. Kindly do subscribe my channel and hit that like button, give your feedback, do leave your comments. Thank you very much.